The Triple M Grill Team. <laughs> Turn Gus, MG and Matty on 6 till 9 weekdays. There's a uh, federal MP in Tassie has come under a bit of fire for asking a certain question of a job applicant uh, for a media advisor's role. Um, Senator-elect uh, David Lionhelm, um, he has asked a, a certain applicant for his job whether they were gay or not, he said in the interview. Uh, the reason I asked if he was gay was that I thought it might be good to have a gay media advisor as we have so many gay supporters, Mr Lion Helm said, I was just trying to relax him. Um, then he goes on, he says, and down the bottom it says of this uh, transcript, employees cannot discriminate against job applicants on the grounds of sexuality, gender, or disability. But we have the uh, the federal MP on the line at the moment. We'll find out a little bit more from him. Good morning, David. How are you, buddy? Good morning. Mate, uh, what was the uh, the line of questioning? That, is that, was that all true, what I just said then? Um, mostly, as good as you ever get in a, in a newspaper article anyway. Yeah. I suppose, David, the most important thing is if the uh, gentleman you interviewed had said, uh, yes, David, I, I am gay, would that have put um, at risk he maybe not being employed? Actually, no, the other way around. Uh, mm. It may have increased his chances. Um, mm. We've... Um, I'm not, I'm not gay and I'm no fan of the gay lifestyle, but we're libertarians. The Liberal Democrats are libertarians, so we take the view that uh, personal choice and, and uh, how you live your life is your business and no business of the government's. So as a result, we have quite a lot of gay supporters. Do you, and, think, it's, uh, uh, we, do you think it's a little bit... you got a lot of uh, gay supporters. Do you think, it, uh, David, you know, just riddle me this, do you think it's a little odd in this day and age... You, to, to make that statement as a federal MP, I'm no fan of the gay lifestyle. No, why? You think we should be fans of the gay lifestyle, do you? Well, mate, no, I, it's I think... it's a personal well, choice. Well, I, personal I just think... Choice. Yeah, I, it is a ten- personal choice, but, I mean, it, you think in this day and age, uh, um, David, that, you know, I mean, that it, to think that in this day and age we're still out there discriminated against a certain certain people because of whether it be gender or because of colour or something like that, mate. I think that I think it's... I mean, things don't move that slow in, in Tassie, do they? Are you uh, are you advocating it? Next, you'll be making it compulsory. Oh, uh, please. The point about it, the point about it is that uh, it's not it's not the government's business what your sexual choices are, what your what your preferences are, and uh, and that's the libertarian position. You don't have to be in favour of something to to re- be tolerant about it. But you were keen it's to hire a... Same with smoking dope. I don't advocate smoking dope, but I think it's a personal choice. And that's the libertarian position. You keep the government's nose out of your business if you're not hurting anybody else. But you were keen to hire a gay media advisor to what to look good to gay supporters. I mean, how does a perfectly competent heterosexual applicant for the job feel about that? Discriminated against? Uh, what a ridiculous question. Well, Really? It... Yes. It's discriminating against someone on the basis of their sexuality, isn't it? Who's discriminated? The heterosexual applicant, if you're favouring a gay applicant. Who discriminated? Uh, you said you would prefer a gay applicant I, to the job. That's why you asked the question. No, I, I asked the question because I was interested, because I thought if the, if the applicant who goes running off to the media after a job interview, weird thing to do, um, uh, if the applicant is gay and in all other respects is suitable for the job... That might actually be an interesting um, scenario, an interesting idea. Are you homophobic, Dave? No, I'm libertarian. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about some of your other policies, Dave? What about them? Oh, mate, what other? Do you want to share a few with us? You always, you you always have... ask if they've uh, ever voted for the Greens. What's that got to do with the price of eggs? When you ask them that question? Because the Greens are socialists and we're libertarians. Mm. Okay. Dave? <laughs> interesting. Mate, uh, I, I, must, I'm, I must say that uh, you have got some interesting uh, points of view, uh, which uh, I don't think any of us agree with. I, I think the fact that it's the 21st century and there's people still out there fighting for equal rights is a bit of a tragedy. And I, I, I don't think I don't, that you're advancing I don't think things. You understand my, I don't think you understand my point of view. Um, you are perfectly entitled to know what a person's views are. Yeah, sure. It's what you do. It's what you do as a consequence of knowing that information that is important. Okay. Mm. Now, it, you don't have to be gay no. to to support gay rights. You don't have to be a woman to support women's rights. 
you don't have to be an, an advocate of smoking dope to support the right to smoke dope. That's the point about being a libertarian, the tolerance. It's tolerance. It's not avoiding subjects. It's not pretending they don't exist. It's not, uh, it's not don't ask, don't tell. It's knowing, and in spite of knowing, it doesn't influence your decision. Mm. Okay, that's the point about it all. Tolerance. So why aren't you a fan of the gay lifestyle then, David? Because I prefer women. No. But why did you, didn't you, on the, on the other hand, you say that it would be good to have a gay media advisor as, in, in this role? It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry if you don't understand it, but the point is that if the person was suitable in all other respects, and he wasn't, if he'd been suitable in all other respects, and gay as well, that may have been an interesting, um, um, an, an interesting point of view, to, to have a gay person on my staff, because we have a very pro-gay rights uh, policy. I mean, I don't understand why you find that difficult to, uh, to get your head around. Would him being gay have been an advantage to him getting the job, though? Yes, potentially, yes. If we had two candidates who were equally qualified, he was one of them, and he was gay, that may have been an advantage to him, yes. Well, that's discriminating, that's discriminating ask, against someone on the basis of their sexuality to the heterosexual applicant. Oh, yeah, well, that's, that's yeah. Yeah. No, that's a possibility. Yeah. Anyway, Dave, wish you all the very, very best for the next election, champion. Thank you. That's Federal Senator David Lionhelm. Thanks for your time, buddy. The Grill Team, Gus, MG, and Maddie Johns. Triple M Breakfast.